hail to everyone a very warm welcome to falling into the arms of God. Meditations about our beloved Saint Teresa of Avila. This is your pastor, Yeti. Today I'm going to talk about false humility. If we are always fixed on our earthly misery, the stream will never flow free from the mud of years of fears. Souls think that all such fears stem from humility. We never get free from ourselves. Teresa believed that it is very easy to fall into a false kind of humility by thinking we are not good enough to receive God's many wonderful graces. Humility is not achieved by refusing to the generosity of the divine, but rather by accepting and understanding the generous nature always available to us, and by taking the light in the sacred gifts. How can we ignore such abundance? Why do we choose to remain poor of spirit instead of reviling in our true nature? nature? As we journey into self-knowledge, we may sometimes come to have a distorted image of who we are. Or our very earnestness to discover the self can in fact become a hindrance. This is evident when we become overly concerned about ourselves. We look to see whether or not others are watching us and tailor our actions according to what would be considered humble and spiritual. We spent excessive amounts of time trying to decide if a particular path would be beneficial for us. We wonder if others will judge us or think that we believe ourselves to be superior if we do not follow their path. We may consider these thoughts to be humble. But, in fact, said Teresa, they are fears that arise from a misunderstanding of self-knowledge. And they all evolve from the same place, a feeling of spiritual inferiority. Since true spirit does not know either superiority or inferiority, we are clearly dealing with the workings of the ego, which firmly believes that it is engaging in the spiritual life. Teresa limited this illusory belief and saw many souls living this falsity. Similarly, this belief is also evident in our conversations. How easy it is to fall into spiritual talk and platitudes, repeating teaching without thought or belief, without knowledge or committed experience. We fall into a spiritual trance that change as quickly as new teachers emerge. We replace one with another, always seeking new methods of enlightenment. This dynamic, too, can be viewed as false humility, since our continental search means that we do not feel good enough or healed enough to enter the kingdom of God. Ironically, 
We are the very place that we have to enter. We are the very place that we are looking for. And we are good enough to make our way home. Do not allow, said Teresa, any erroneous idea of humility to stop you from coming to God, I mean, to know the one who lives within. Such a good guest should not be turned away. Let us come forward and greet him as he deserves and as we deserve. So, when we feel ourselves shrinking inward, or perhaps when we hear our inner voice saying, Who am I to think, receive such a thing? Or, I am not enough. Then let us step outward and say, Yes, this is who I am. And let us be grateful for what we are receiving and for the ability to take a step closer to who we are. So as we come to a time for ourselves in silence, let me open our soul and think about ourselves. How truly is our humility? How false is our humility? In what way do we really know who we are in Christ? These are serious questions to ask yourself. Feel yourself coming into a gentle place of rest. Allow any feeling of unworthiness to risk. Ask God to love those feelings and the part of you they arose from. Feel the desire to let them go. And let them dissolve into love. Feel your own goodness and know that you are perfect just as you are. May the peace of God be with you. And make serious thoughts about yourself. Blessings. This is your Pastor Yeti.